Explosives and incendiaries are the weapons of choice in more than 90% of the incidents that are acts of terrorism. Events like the Oklahoma City bombings, the U.S. Embassy bombings in Kenya and Tanzania, and the September 11th attacks on the World Trade Center and the Pentagon are notorious examples. However, according to Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearm Statistics, there are, on average, nearly 4,000 explosive and incendiary incidents every year in the United States. According to the FBI, on average, there are some 1,800 explosions in which 25 civilians are killed and an additional 250 injured. Many are acts of vandalism or revenge, but the threat of terrorism cannot be disregarded. The FBI estimates that there are 2,500 Al-Qaeda operatives functioning clandestinely in the United States. These and other terrorists are trained and can be expected to use explosive and incendiary weapons. These weapons can be delivered by vehicle, suicide missions, in suitcases, briefcases, letters, and packages. Attacks may be carried out using planes or other vehicles loaded with flammable liquids. Explosives may be obtained by theft or hijacking. According to ATF, thousands of pounds of explosives and thousands of detonators are stolen each year. Explosive devices may be retrieved from surpluses remaining in post-conflict areas and from military ranges, or explosives may be manufactured using readily available precursor chemicals. This program is called Terrorism explosive and incendiary weapons. It is designed to provide training and assistance to police, firefighters, hazmat teams, bomb squads, EMTs, emergency management, and others who may respond to a terrorist incident involving explosive or incendiary weapons. This program will discuss terrorists' use of explosive and incendiary weapons, list the principal types, and explain the differences between pre-detonation and post-detonation responses. The role of shielding and distance in providing protection against the effects of an explosion. The hazards and risks of an incident scene. The types of injuries that result from an explosion and steps to take to preserve evidence will be described. 